I thought, you know, this is going to kind of be a light show for news. And then they dropped the hammer on us with the AEW Dynamite ratings. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, there was still a lot of stuff going on. But, um, you know, a lot of some. Yeah. A lot of I mean, Brian and I talked about much of it during the week. But yeah, AEW rating was terrible. Um, um, shocking. I mean, like literally shocking. I literally woke up and saw the number and um you know started studying because did you like, think it was fake like i did originally um, no 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 i already knew, I, I i when i first saw it i already knew it wasn't fake okay because of where i got it from first so i knew it wasn't fake but um you know i had to study a lot just to i mean there's always reasons okay and there's explanations and everything like that but um you know, when it drops this much, you know, it's, there's two things. Number one, you just go like, God, it's a weird aberration. And, and, you know, like, are things really this terrible? And it's kind of like, well, God, you know, rampage number was, was fine, you know, pretty high really, you know, in the standings and collision was fine and pretty high in the standings as well. So it's kind of like, um, and, and this one, I mean, even, you know, it's funny because, I mean, it's terrible. It's a terrible number. But it also, um, the, you know, the first hour was second place on cable, you know, behind the College Baseball World Series game. The second hour was fourth, I believe. Um, there was a soccer game on FS1, and there was the baseball, and then there was something on, um, I believe, Discovery Channel had a, had a you know, a pretty big show. Um, so, so, you know, it's like when you look at it, but still, you know, I mean, it's like, it's it speaks to... A lot of things, including the decline of cable and everything. Um, you know, obviously coming a day after NXT doing that great number is interesting because like the one thing, you know, in the last couple of weeks that, you know, I've noticed as far as just like NXT is going up and, and AEW is going down and they, the lines were about to intersect. I mean, it was very close, you know, the last few weeks. Um, and then, you know, this when they did the O point when when NXT did the O point two six. I thought, okay, you know, I mean, it's like I thought AEW would be up, and it was obviously it was way way down because yeah. because of um, you know, I thought that they had a they had promoted the show well, you know, you had a MJF and Roosh was well promoted, good brawl, blah blah blah, you know, um, and things were kind of heating up, the, the tournament going and all that, and but I did think that they weren't probably going to get an 0.26, so it was kind of like, wow, you know, it's going to be. The week, but it doesn't matter one week. That's the trend. The trend is one is going up at a good rate, and the other one is uh, leveling off and 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 sl and dropping. And obviously, this drop was ridiculous. Um, there's, you know, I mean, there's a million reasons, and there'll be a story. There's already a, there should be a story up on the front page by the time, um, you know, we we we're, we're done with the show, if nothing else, because I just finished it. Um, that you know will go through all the little particulars i mean i guess the key there's a lot of key notes i mean obviously the lead-in um was an 0.04 um you know which was the the movie black black panther right yeah was it black panther one or was it the wakanda sequel i don't i, I that's the i think it was black panther was the lead-in instead okay. of big bang theory so you know big bang theory is you know like like if you look at it in the the way that your numbers crunchers at WBD would look at it, they'll look at the number. But one of the things that they'll look at is how many people tuned in at the start of the show. And there actually were way more people tuned in at the start of the show this week than most weeks. Um, you know, and 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 you know, then people will go like, oh, you know, it's the Big Bang Theory lead in, but they they add like a lot of new viewers from Big Bang Theory and and often um you know, when it comes to the 18 to 49, which is the key number, um, very often the, the first quarter with the Big Bang Theory leading is not the high quarter. Um, you know, sometimes it is, but they, they, um, so there's, you know, it's, it's like the leading, it means something. It means a lot in the first, you know, five, 10 minutes, especially, but throughout the show, like, okay, they had a really bad lead in. Um, but it's like, it doesn't explain the whole drop. And I know like there's, there's a lot of things going on. There was the, the, with the Kendrick Lamar concert, which I know was big. There was, um, you know, college baseball world series did a nice number. The Olympic trials did a nice number. Um, what was the other thing? Um, 
um i think you know that i mean that was the, that was really the can we go back to the kendrick lamar thing for a second because i saw in the in the story that you wrote you mentioned specifically the 35 to 49 audience right i, I do want to mention that's right okay there's 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 i, I actually want to i actually should break this down before we get into this okay so so when you're breaking down where this thing fell apart aw's strongest audience is men 35 to 49 i mean it's the one sometimes like you know when it's been bad for a couple weeks i'll bring it up but it's the steady audience the 18 to 34 has been um you know dropped greatly in the last few months you know and sometimes it was like well it's the nba playoffs and it's like well that's 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 a reason to a degree mm -hmm. and then when the playoffs ended they did the one the one show a couple of weeks ago without the playoffs and the number went right back up to where it should have been so it's kind of like well that's part of it but they were still down before the playoffs okay so the and the number last week which was against the nba finals was 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 a bad number in 1834 so the 18 to 34 number this week even though these other numbers were way down was actually um very slightly up, like five percent, four percent. I then I mean it's it'll be in the the article, but it's like I think four point six percent. Um, so it was up, but the thirty five to forty nine male audience was down forty percent from last week. So that's the audience. The women were down too, It'd be like twenty three percent, twenty three point five, I think. But um, the that's where you're if you're going like where are the losses this week? You know where is it? It was very much congregated in that. Males 35 to 49, which is their group that, that really doesn't vary that much, and they got killed in it. So your answer is is like what attracted, you know, what was what was the reason? And and you know, you can come up with a lot of different reasons, but that's the age group you're looking at. If you're looking at like um, you know, kids or whatever, or you know, whatever, it it it, it wasn't really down. That's the that's where it was. And and women down, sure, but it's like women vary on that show anyway. It was men 35 to 49. They were way, way down. It's the very, you know, it's the most loyal audience. I'm going to guess they'll probably be back next week, but you know, um, maybe they won't, you know, I mean, maybe some of them. Won't. I, I, I mean, I think you're, you're betting everything to come back or, or else, you well, know, something really bad happened. Right. But what, what was it? I mean, if it was, it was something that like, um, like you're going like what turned off the audience, but the reality is, is that collision did, considering the competition collision did much better than i expected as did rampage this week so it wasn't like there's this AEW. i mean AEW's down don't get me wrong you know i mean and the, to me again when we're analyzing a wrestling company there's so many variables that go into tv ratings although they have to be studied because of the number one financial thing but to me i always study live attendance because live attendance tells you when you're hot or cold and obviously, AW struggling to sell tickets. That's going to happen first before the ratings drop. So they struggle to sell tickets. And that's been, you know, a year long story now. I mean, they peaked probably, um, you know, two years ago um, in that regard. But the last year has been pretty tough. Um, and so when you look at that, it's like the ratings decline was going to happen. And it did later. Um, but they're still having trouble selling tickets. Like I always look at, again, like these advances, when are we going to see a change in the advances? And when we do, actually with WWE, there's 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 a little, you know, it's in the Observer this week, but they are a little down. And their, um, you know, their pay per view um, that they did last week, um, you know, the 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 numbers that we got weren't particularly great. So there's little signs, but but overall, I mean, I look at again the live attendance, it's pretty freaking good. And even if they decline a little bit, they're still doing great. Um, and the NXT number, you know, NXT, they don't do house shows. So there's no way to predict that other than um, I think that it may be time for them to start doing tapings on the road. And they probably will, from what I understand, um, at least some when they move to CW. Um, and they should, you know, they should ch get they out of that place. They should. They absolutely should. They're getting, a, you know, they're getting, you know, 34 million a year on their new deal um, with CW. So it's like that covers the cost now to, 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 to get them, um, you know, into into a you know medium sized buildings i would say you know you want to get into maybe 2000 seat buildings maybe three that type mm -hmm. of size like you know you don't want to go into tens like AEW either come um, back to uh San Jose State Event Center San Jose State Event Center is a great building for AEW and be a great, you know would be and has always been a great building for NXT and and would be now especially cuz NXT's hot um so so you know there's there's 
there's problems. And I mean, you know, again, the Dallas taping is, uh, you know, I, I don't know how you're going to draw, but again, they're only set up for, I think, 1300 people, 1290 to 1333 is the, the basic range of the, what they're sell, we're setting up for. So you don't need a lot of people to fill the Arlington place, but it's still, um, you know, it's still, um, you know, it's not like they they opened up tickets and s were selling out. That I don't even know that that counts. But um, you know, again, when I look at these shows coming up, I mean, I don't see any, uh, I don't see any change. You know, it's it's where it is, and and you know, they're. I think one of the deals right now is, um, you know, they also they're also dealing with a, a perception issue. You know, because um, the perception of the, you know, it, it, it's like it doesn't even matter what you do sometimes when your perception is bad because again like the, the like everyone's all down um the wednesday show was really good and it was like you know i mean good wrestling obviously the the gimmick of good wrestling matches which is what propelled them in their early years you know i don't remember how many years ago it was but it's probably i'm thinking two or maybe more where i said that like this you know it, it that gimmick will not last forever and people got really mad but it's like that's just the reality you, you know and so you know you have to build younger characters get them over really hot and um and then and also have patience with them this nxt you know the the building of nxt if you remember when they started building these you know with the braun breaker and they did that whole switch rude deal you know when they went from the trying to be the super indies to just vince's idea of like screw this this the super indies thing with adam cole and kyle o'reilly this isn't working. We're getting beat every week. And, you know, they basically gutted Triple H's vision. And then they went with, we want only, you know, good looking women, <laughs> you know, and we want Braun Breaker and, and, and 25 year olds and college people and all that and younger audience. You know, if you remember at first, that did not work out well. But as these people grew in time, it did. Um, and now, you know, they're back and they, they have, you know, they mixed in the older people and things like that. And it's, it's doing well. So when you do this, when you do this rebuilding, which AEW hasn't done, but when you do the rebuilding, it will go down more at first and you have to have patience to ride it out. You know, like Will Ospreay is not going to be a ratings draw, you know, for months and months and months. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not going to happen week one. He's not famous enough to be that guy. Um, so, you know, and, and, and the problem is, is, you don't have a whole roster of that. I mean, one of the things WWE has done is, is they've done a great job of recruiting good looking people. And, and I, I remember when they started doing this, when they were doing the, the good looking people and the, um, the college athletes thing. And, um, and AEW was doing the independent wrestler thing. Um, and I said, like, you know, we're going to find out which is more effective. And I said, I don't know what it is in wrestling, but we're going to learn. But I do know that everyone in television will tell you the good looking people is the direction. And whether that's, you know, so far, so far in, the, you know, again, we can't really compare because AEW hasn't um, they basically forced the ball onto people. Because, I mean, who, you know, um, I'll just give an example because I was writing this actually to somebody in AEW the other night um, when I saw it, when it was after the uh, the Wednesday show. So it would have been uh, yesterday. And it was about it's essentially about Dante Martin. It's like when Dante Martin first showed up, I was like, I think 19 years old and freaking awesome in the ring, right? For, you know, green, but I mean, he could jump high. And it was one of those things that were like, in five years, man, this guy's going to be great. And granted, he had the bad injury, which slowed him and everything. But, but the key was, is his personality going to get over? And I said, man, you know, when he was 19, you got you to gotta teach this guy. You got to get him coach. You got to coach all these young guys all these young guys on promos because their work will get them to a, you know, their work can get you on TV, but to make you a star that moves the needle, you got to be able to, to talk and do main event promos. And, you know, like I watched and here's, you know, that, that eight person promo and Mark Briscoe was really good in it. And the other guys were just standing there, you know, Kyle's Kyle and all that. And, you know, really good wrestler and Dante can fly and do really cool things. But, um, you know, it's like, is he at that level that, you know, you, you would hope four years ago he would be or any of those guys, they haven't really done that. 
and you can't go with you know you can't go with a pat hand you always got to mix in young people and um you know i mean if you're going to do a big rebuilding process or or do this the other thing is, is is you've got to be you've got to be prepared for six months or longer of it being worse um and that's just the medicine you got to take and and they've never taken that medicine it's always about what can we do this week what can we can do how can we hot shot very much you know that's a similarity to wcw i mean they're very much they're they're very 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 much different from wcw but that is one similarity is is that and i know you know tony will say you know like um he'll bring up mariah may and mariah may is the the the, the exception of the rule without a doubt and probably will end up being a star i mean the um you know, when you look at last night's show, I mean, the two key things on last night's show that from a rating standpoint, if you can say anything from a rating standpoint worked with, with a number like that were the, the MJF Rouge match and the Tony Storm and Mina Shirakawa and Mariah May segment. You know, that those were the two things that worked. Um, and, you know, other stuff, it wasn't like the other stuff failed, but but those two things were like the the things where people tuned in for in those segments. So. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.